Hello, engineering students. Today I'm going to show you how to use uh, Tinkercad a little bit. We're going to build a circuit in Tinkercad uh, so that you can code it later. Tinkercad is a really interesting website that is a simulation to a certain extent. And uh, it has a few parts built into it. The primary component is this uh, 3D design component where you can make your own uh, 3D models in a really elementary sort of way. Um, it's kind of like playing with blocks uh, for computers. Um, it's all right, and you can make some pretty detailed objects if you have enough patience. Uh, but we're not going to be doing this portion in electronic music. We are going to create a circuit. So you're going to come over here to our uh, tabs here on the left, these sections. We're going to go to circuits. Now, I've made a few of these in the past, so um, yours is going to be empty. Uh, but we're going to make a circuit in Tinkercad using an Arduino. Arduinos are microcontrollers. They're tiny little computers uh, that you can program with your computer uh, to do certain tasks. There are a myriad of sensors and little bits that you can add to an Arduino and have it do stuff. Um, this is the Arduino right here. It should pop up right at the beginning. Um, this sort of toolbar, this set of stuff you can use. There's a lot of things, little electronic components that you can use. We're going to make a simple circuit today using our, an Arduino. So I'm going to click on the Arduino here. And I'm going to place it down on the field there. Why not? Arduinos are um, pretty small. They're about the size of a deck of cards. Here's a USB cord for scale. And this is a semiconductor, a uh, integrated circuit here that is a really, really, really simple computer. It doesn't do a lot, but it is technically a CPU, and it can control uh, lights. It can turn things on and off, um, read various analog or digital sensors, control servos and motors. It's really a, a pretty cool little toy. Um, so our circuit is going to be a music circuit. So we're going to need a few things uh, to go along with our Arduino. We're going to need a potentiometer, which we'll probably wire up a little bit later. I'm just going to drop it right here. Cool. And we're going to need a speaker. Let's see. Here's a piezo speaker right here. I'm going to grab that. I'm going to put it there. And now we need to wire it up. Um, you can click and drag stuff around. You can move things around. You can name them if you want. Uh, and we have to put some wires, and we need to run them over here to our speaker. Um, we also have this uh, potentiometer. Uh, potentiometers are uh, variable resistors. They are resistors that you can change the amount of resistance. Uh, we will use it in this case as a volume knob um, because if we increase the resistance on that circuit, you're going to drop down how much electric potential that um, that speaker has and you'll reduce the, uh, the volume. Cool. So Arduinos work like this. You have various pins. These are called pins that go up and down the, the side here. They, they are uh, little slots where you can add a wire to it. Uh, several of these are completely unnecessary, but some of them are quite necessary. And it has 13 over here, the 13 pins over here. These are all digital pins, meaning they can either be turned on or turned off. Uh, and that's it. Um, there are a few analog pins over here that can read a difference in voltage and current 
um, but not X, they can't output uh, current or voltage. Uh, the other ones that are important are V in or the, these uh, five volts or three volts. These are positive current. These are positive um, voltages. And the uh, negative voltages are called ground or GND. Uh, ground is where you will run uh, negative wires from. As you know, because you are in physics, uh, there are positive and negative terminals to a battery, and therefore positive and negative terminals on, in your Arduino and your USB cord. Um, and so we need to run a uh, positive wire from our Arduino to our speaker. Uh, we'll incorporate the potentiometer in here later. And I don't remember which pin I should start with, but I'm just going to choose nine for some reason. Nine we're going to treat as our positive. Pin nine we will turn on at our will. And so I'm going to run a wire from the D9, pin nine right here on my Arduino, and run it over here to the positive terminal of my speaker. And this is really easy because I just have to click on it. And I will run it over here, about there. Click down and it'll bend it. And now I can do that. Cool. And you can turn it from green to red if you'd like, or you can change it any other color you want. I'm going to move it, straighten that up a little bit. Um, the other thing I need to do is run a positive, or rather a negative, from this terminal of our speaker down to the ground of our Arduino. I'm going to try and neaten these things up. You can make them pretty, pretty sloppy if you don't, um, if you don't pay attention. These wires can go all over the place. And so here we go. Now I'm going to call it, color this one black for negative. So now we have this pretty attractive looking circuit that I can then begin to code. We'll start coding that next time. But you can see here, there are tons and tons of electronic components for Arduinos and then just other stuff as well. Uh, other pre-made circuits if you want, um, but all components here, resistors, you can change the values of resistors, capacitors, uh, either a ceramic type or electrolytic like this. Diodes, which restrict current only in one direction. Uh, tons of stuff. Buttons and switches, uh, photoresistors and photodiodes. These are both components that are sensitive to the amount of light that they're being exposed to. And an ambient light sensor as well. That's pretty cool. Um, all sorts of stuff. Uh, electronic range sensors. These use sonar to figure out how far away things are. Um, then there are uh, infrared sensors. Um, various temperature probes, keypads, physical switches like these, LEDs for days. Neopixels are a proprietary type of LED that you can uh, program using RGB values. So you can change the, the color that comes out of these with a, uh, with a signal wire. These are made by a company called Adafruit. You can buy them. They're very, very cheap. They're pretty awesome, too. They come in strips or like these little panels. Very fun. Motors, all sorts of stuff. We're just going to be dealing with the speaker on this one and a button in this um, potentiometer for our project. But there are many, many, many things that you can do with Arduino. And Tinkercad uh, as a little simulation. So now that you have a circuit of some kind, uh, take a screenshot of it and turn it in.